Welcome back to Thanksgiving in the heart of New York City. And you are looking up 6th Avenue from our special parade camera, which sits high atop the New York Hilton Midtown. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade often marks the official start of the holiday season. And this year, it's scheduled for its 95th running, beginning at 9 a.m. on Thursday, November 25th. But over nearly the past century, this annual tradition in New York City has seen its fair share of parade balloon close calls and accidents. With each one of these massive inflatables not exactly always easy to navigate between the countless onlookers, keeping command of these enormous floating characters can be quite the undertaking. Here's 10 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade Balloon Mishaps and Accidents. Number 10. Cat Balloon Confusion and Incident In the early years of the parade, the cat balloon was a vintage Goodyear-made balloon making its debut at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. With some debate and differing views of its historical timeline, the balloon is often mistaken as the Felix the Cat balloon, with some sources reading Felix the Cat actually didn't debut until 1932, while many others state 1927. Hmm, who knows who's right. Anyway, the issue was, during the early years of the parade, they didn't put much thought on how to deflate the balloons. They figured they would just simply set them free, and when finished they would deflate naturally. This was an unfortunate assumption, as the big cat balloon gradually collided with some telephone wires and burst into flames. Number 9. Bad Weather Pot Pie Now, some claim this story to be an urban legend. Other accounts claim it to be true. Either way, the Pot Pie the Sailor Man balloon is definitely real and debuted at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in 1957. The story goes, rain at the Macy's Day Parade filled Pot Pie the Sailor Man's infamous cap and quickly filled it with cold rainwater. This became a body of swaying water awaiting to soak onlookers below at the slightest movement of this massive fictional character's balloon floating along the inner streets of New York City. And it did just that. The indentation of the balloon caused it to dump the ice cold rainwater over nearby spectators of the parade. Is this real or just a can full of spoiled spinach? Number eight, Rex the Dinosaur. An animated film produced by Steven Spielberg in 1993 called We're Back, A Dinosaur Story met his demise via a not-so-strategically placed traffic light that connected with a prehistoric character's nose. The longest balloon at 85 feet in the 1993 parade, the televised coverage that day would actually use video footage from the dinosaur's test flight instead of the damaged dino in action. With the film itself tanking in the box office, the balloon was also immediately retired from the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Number seven, Kermit the Frog. Only me. <laughs> yeah, I was born for Broadway, as you can tell. Uh, let's head back uptown. Bert, Felicia, let's hear all about it. Well, I, I, I don't know you if you can see it. got a great surprise. Kermit the Frog just came around a corner, almost stubbed his nose on the pavement, but I think he's flying right now. There he is. Kermit has been a popular guest of the Macy's Day Parade for many decades. But in 1985, it wasn't easy being green. The Kermit balloon ripped near its stomach area and began a massive green frog deflation. The balloon came dangerously close to the people on the ground and those trying to control it as it sunk lower as the parade went on during live television. No one was injured, thankfully. Number six, the Sonic the Hedgehog accident. Gradually floating down the parade route in 1993, the Sonic the Hedgehog's signature helium-filled parade balloon encountered some troublesome winds and veered into a tree, damaging its left arm and spike and leaving it dangling in the wind as it continued down Central Park West. Eventually, a gust of wind would cause it to collide with a lamppost at the corner of West 58th and Broadway. The impact sent a piece of the lamppost falling to the ground and it broke the shoulder of an off-duty police captain. Number five bad luck for Superman. In 1985, the Man of Steel revealed a kink in his armor when a strong blast of wind and a heavy downpour forced the giant balloon towards the ground and tossing it around as it traveled along the parade route. As his handlers tried to manage control, Superman would not so heroically fly into a tree, ripping his left leg open and then quickly deflating the balloon, missing his slot on the NBC parade coverage. The following year in 1986, his triumphant grand return to the Macy's Parade saw the man faster than a speeding bullet, not quite fast enough to dodge turbulent wind in nearby tree branches, causing him to lose his arm in a live deflation 
to the surprise of many parade attendees. Number four, the cat in the hat. Another incident at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade involving a giant balloon and a lamppost happened again in 1997. This time, the character balloon involved with the accident was the cat in the hat. The balloon smacked a lamppost, sending a large piece of the post into the crowd and hitting a woman. This one was captured on video. Suddenly, it knocked off a large section of the light, which then fell into a crowd of people standing on the sidewalk. Huge wind gust came down, hit that light post right on top, sprung a big leak, a big chunk about four feet long fell right down into the crowd. As handlers struggled to bring the balloon under control, police and EMS rushed to help four people who were injured. Two suffered head injuries. One woman is in serious condition. This time again, high winds appear to be a factor in a more serious accident. Wind plays an important role in this parade. It adds that all-important element of suspense. The woman sustained serious injury and remained in a coma for over a month. She later collected $395 million in damages due to the unfortunate happening. After the accident, rules for the size of allowable balloons at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade were put in place. Number three, the cheetah plane incident. Way back in 1928, Macy's began offering a $100 reward for return balloons that they would just simply let loose and float away when the parade ended. In 1931, a floating balloon snagged a pilot's airplane wing leading to a ban on retrievals by airplanes. However, the following year, the recovery of the cheetah balloon that flew at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in 1932 was being attempted by another pilot when it hooked onto the airplane attempting to recover it, causing the plane to go into a tailspin. This accident led to stopping the release of balloons at the end of the parade. Number two, the tipping of the Kool-Aid man. In 2010, the Kool-Aid man proved to be too wide and unsteady. Upon its inflation, and minutes before the start of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, it tipped over. Eventually, it would be reinflated and would end up making the lineup just in the nick of time, right behind Horton the Elephant. The following year in 2011, the Kool-Aid Man began a tradition and decided once again to tip over at the annual Thanksgiving Eve tradition known as the Macy's Balloon Inflation Celebration. And number one, Spidey and Sam. The most awkwardly recorded happening of any Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade mishap might be this one. On 2012, during the inflation celebration, the day before the parade, the process of inflating the balloons led to some rather uncomfortable still shots of the huge 29-foot-tall, 78-foot-long Spider-Man getting a little too close and personal with Uncle Sam. A viral moment that won't soon be forgotten when thinking of major mishaps that take place at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to like, share, comment, and consider subscribing to the Quest Capsule channel. And be on the lookout for more interesting video content, vlog documentaries, travel tips, reviews, and other video content we put out for all of our subscribers and viewers out there just like you. See you on the next one.